Hi, this is Will Taylor with Strings Attached, and I'm going to show you in this video how to open and save your Strings Attached contract and uh, give you some troubleshooting tips. So, uh, first thing is uh, either me or Amanda will have filled out all of the information in your contract, and it's important when you get it to check over the details and make sure they match what your wedding planner uh, has in mind or wh whoever else is helping you plan the wedding. Make sure everything is in sync as much as possible. If you notice um, something being different, let us know as soon as possible and we can uh, make the necessary adjustments and resend you a new copy. So you're going to receive an email somewhat like this up here that says contract. All you have to do is click on it and inside the email it'll say click to open and that's going to open up the contract in a new window where you can view it, print it, save it, look over the details, do what you need to do with it and get it back to Amanda. Um, once again, um, as I may have mentioned in other videos, if you get overwhelmed or are confused or something can't work, the best thing to do is just call Amanda first at 512-944-8407. You can also text her at that number. You can also text or email, actually I'm sorry, you can text or call me at, if you can't reach Amanda, then you can reach me at 512-775-2371. That's text or phone. So when the contract comes up, you can either print it immediately from this view right here, or if that doesn't work, go over here to the left-hand corner, pull down the file menu, and you can print it from here, or you can download it as a Microsoft Word document or a PDF document, which then you can open up separately and print out. Or if you need to email it to your fiancé or anybody else that needs to look at it, you can do it that way. So that's basically the uh, bottom line on how to open pr and print out or save the contract. Now a couple other things I want to mention about the contract are, number one, um, everything else is pretty ex self-explanatory and Amanda will have filled it out. Um, but on this number six here, hours of engagement, um, if you have a wedding ceremony, um, Amanda will split that up into two different sections so it's absolutely clear. Um, it'll probably say, it should say, prelude music and then ceremony. We'll have that split up into two different sections. So generally speaking, prelude music is from 15 to 20 minutes. So if you have a ceremony that's starting at, right at 5 o'clock, and when we mean by ceremony, that means when generally the, the processional is beginning. Usually when the mothers are being seated, that would be the beginning of the ceremony. So if you say your mothers are going to come down the aisle to be seated at 5 o'clock, then we're going to want to start the prelude music at 4 45 p.m. or 4.40, uh, depending on how long you want the entire section of the ceremony to last. From say, uh, Generally speaking, it's up to an hour of music is what we recommend. So if we're starting the prelude music at 4.45, then uh, we're going to go all the way up to approximately 5.45. Uh, so this will be all clear here and uh, divvied up into two sections, the prelude and then the ceremony. So prelude music will be from 4.45 to 5.00 and then from 5 until 5.45 would be the actual ceremony. So we'll have that split so that it's absolutely clear. Let's make sure that, you, that your wedding coordinator understands that as well. Okay, and then a couple other points to remember or to, to uh, point out actually are one that um, we can't play outside in any direct sunlight because it can be damaging to the instruments uh, unless that is cleared beforehand and then we can cross that out and initial that. Um, most of the time that's not a big deal because uh, even if it isn't discussed a lot of times when I come to a ceremony spot uh, I'll just find a tree that provides enough shade and, and we can make do under a tree. Um, but if you're intending for the musicians to be up really close to the where the, uh, the ceremony is going to take place it's important to note that, that we need to have shade. And then also, if you hired uh, a band or you also purchased one of our ceremony sound reinforcement packages, which uh, will amplify the, the minister or officiant and the couple with our wireless mics, uh, if you have that package, we're going to need to have power access within 10 feet of the performance area. If you have a totally acoustic um, ceremony, let's say inside a church or it's a very small group of people, um, then you don't have to worry about that. Acoustic 
performance by the ensemble work just fine. But if you have a large group of people and you want to make sure that the vows are heard by everybody, and if you have uh, some elderly people that maybe need to hear, the, need to have a louder sound volume to hear actually the what's going on, then we highly recommend our sound reinforcement package. Just call Amanda and she can tell you about that. We can add that to your contract. Uh, another thing is um, that uh, if you want to give a tip, um, we just ask that you put it in a separate envelope labeled tip and give that to the lead musician. It's not um, required. It's just up to you if that's something you feel like doing. Then uh, just put that in a separate envelope, and we prefer cash for that. Uh, that covers the contract. Let us know again if you have any questions by calling Amanda at 512-944-8400. 07 or will at 512-775-2371 that's call or text and also we want you to I just realize this that we want you to read the frequently asked questions in initial here because that can ask answer a lot of your um, questions and just let us know if we can help out with anything else we'll see you at your wedding thanks for watching